Police say this man identifies himself as Jeff and he tells everybody he's part of the Quinnipiac Activities Club, but further investigation revealed he's not part of any QU club at all. I was like, whoa, like, where did this dude come from? That was the reaction of Deja Josie after receiving this email from Public Safety on Thursday, warning everyone to be on the lookout for this man. Police say he was entering into more than three classrooms in the Communications and Computing and Engineering building on the Mount Carmel campus to sell $10 tickets to a New York comedy show. They added he was specifically looking for occupied classrooms. He would, we walked in, excused himself, and asked if he could speak to the class. The man claimed to be with the Quinnipiac Activities Club, but no club like that exists. A student told police the man used a tap system device to take credit card or PayPal payments. Students were then given a phone number to retrieve their tickets. That is when they knew something seemed off. It was a little concerning about like how someone could get on campus so freely and in a building and do whatever they want. The man is described to have curly brown hair and a beard, wearing a teal shirt, black jacket, blue jeans, and carrying a truly brand backpack. Police are working to find out how he was granted access on campus. We do have increased patrols in the area. Uh, all of our officers were notified um, within the moments after the incident occurred, so the entire department knows about what happened there, and uh, everyone is uh, keeping an extra eye out. Students now keeping their eyes peeled in case this man comes back. I felt nervous and a little worried uh, during that time. I was not in this part of campus, but it was still worrying because I had friends on this side of campus. If someone were to try and sell me something, I would obviously do some background check and like research and ask them who they are before I, you know, give them any money. Police also adding if you are a victim of this scam to reach out to your bank or credit card company. The university also says it would never approve of a stranger interrupting classroom time for this type of activity. Reporting in Hamden, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.